Uh, so are you on holiday? Yes, I'm on holiday. From where? I'm from India, but I'm studying at Warwick University. Oh, so you live here? Yeah, oh, you live in Warwick? I live in Warwick. Okay. So, did you, what religion are you? I believe in Jainism. Gen what is that? I'm so, it's a very scientific religion. It believes in no harm to anybody. Okay. So, basically what it does is, uh, the gurus or the leaders, don't wear slippers so that they don't hurt anything on the ground. They oh. wear masks so that they don't hurt any organism while talking. Oh. So stuff like that. Well, all the time they wear masks? Yes. Well, even when they're sleeping? Uh, not while they're sleeping, but <laughs> while they're talking. Anytime they talk, they okay. wear masks. Okay, so during COVID it wasn't a problem for them? No. <laughs> Maybe they were happy during COVID. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so I've never heard of I think I remember about the slipper thing, but I don't remember about the so mask. So they wear all white so that, you know, they don't actually get, uh, their clothes don't actually uh, hurt anybody. Uh -huh. They are always, they don't cut their hair, they uh -huh. pull them out. They pull them? Yes. Why? When they want to cut it, they pull them. They don't actually, uh, they don't actually cut it so that there's no organisms that are hurt. Really? It's uh, if you're that extreme, yeah. But you, you don't. I mean, you no, don't. I you're know, not I wearing slippers and a mask. So I believe in them. That's yeah. that's the religion that I follow. Yeah. Uh, it has nine days of. So I'm a vegetarian. Uh -huh. I don't eat any meat. I don't eat any eggs. I don't uh -huh. eat any of that. So. So you're base, vegan more than. Ve or, cheese is okay. Oh, you cheese is so okay. So vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. So we don't believe in any harm to anybody. Yeah. And, um, but, I mean, it sounds like a way of life. Do you, is there, a, like, similar to Buddhism? Would you so Buddhism was actually started with Jainism. So both uh -huh. of them emerged on the, on the similar grounds. So is there any belief in God in today's? So we don't believe in any idol worshipping. Yeah. Uh, but we do have leaders who... Uh, so we believe in people, we don't believe in uh, idols, we don't believe in a god. We do have myths, mythology obviously there, but there's no god as such. So, do you believe there is a creator? No. You don't believe? No, it's all scientific. It's all scientific? Yeah. What do you mean? The Big Bang, all of that is true. Uh huh. I mean, it could, um, you know, uh, there could be a, have been a big bang, but... So we do believe in a higher power. In a higher power. So there's something out there, but it's not God. It's mm -hmm. not an idol. It's not in a form or a creature. Mm -hmm. It's just there. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it sounds a bit New Age as well. Because New it's Age... It's always been this way. People don't know a lot about Jainism. That's why... Even in the country like India, where there's a lot of Jains, it's still a minority. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very scientific religion, I would say. Mm -hmm. They have a base or a structure for everything. Mm -hmm. There's nine days in a year where every Jain uh, does not eat anything that has organisms. For example, potatoes or ginger or anything that's below the ground that will have life in it. We don't eat that. But do you, do you think um, this sounds a bit like worshipping cre the creation? Meaning? Because, um, you know, there is so much emphasis of not hurting creation, which is not a bad thing, yeah. you know, but it kind of to the point that it could be that you're almost kind of worshipping the creation. Which so maybe, maybe, you know, that's a way of looking at it. Yeah. It's just uh, the no harm belief. Yeah. That is the base of everything. Yeah. I mean, where do you think morality comes from then? Because if you believe in the Big Bang, which I mean, it could, I, I, I'm a Christian, right? I'm not disputing. I think maybe something, uh, everything could have started from the Big Bang. But I think um, kind of I have a different view in the sense that it's illogical that something starts from nothing, right? Right. So if you think about anything in this life, Anything in here, the tree, the sculpture, people, yeah. they all come from the beginning. You know, either uh, people are made from, um, you know, intercourse or the tree is made from a seed or the sculpture is made by people. Um, and so, there, so would you agree that logically there, there is a beginning to everything? So I believe the people and the organisms and everything that science actually uh, shows is true and not everything needs to have a uh, beginning so once 
once there so i don't really understand uh, the adam and eve concept that there were two people who just happened to be there but i do believe in evolution wherein maybe there were some kind of organisms that were then you know they they multiplied they complexified and with time uh, some of them you have turned into human some of them into dinosaurs some into whatever so it's it's just atoms yeah i mean it's interesting because there are some christians who believe in evolution but i i don't i used to because okay. i wasn't always a christian so before i became a christian I believed into new age. I believed okay. the earth was billions of years old and I yeah, believe in evolution. But then as I became a Christian, it doesn't make sense evolution because um, I don't know what you know about the story of Adam and Eve because there are different versions in some I for know example the basic is, one. So in Christianity the belief is that obviously God made Adam and Eve. Well, he first made Adam and then he made Eve. And then they um, disobeyed God, and then they inherited a fallen nature, and that's when death and sin came into the world, and um, that, that, that's uh, um, the beginning of kind of everything, basically, as we, right. as we know so, but it. But then you do believe in God, then? I believe in God, yeah, but the reason why evolution doesn't make sense um, if, as a Christian is because if we say that um, evolution is true, then it means that Adam and Eve would have had parents that were animals or not humans enough to be accountable. Was Adam and Eve um, so you don't became accountable? In the whole gorilla into man thing? No, and actually it's interesting because um, it comes from Darwinism. Um, and uh, I'm just putting my hood up because it's raining, but we won't be too long anyway. Actually, I have an umbrella we can share whilst we talk. Um, yeah, no, I don't, you know, actually it's interesting because it comes from Darwinism and I think Darwin was an atheist, um, but the contemporary Christians of his time, they believe that um, he was influenced by the devil. Um, okay. You know, they didn't... So these are all just different concepts, right? Yeah, there are different... And this is the difficulty, is the fact that there are so many religions and so many belief systems. Um, but I, I became a Christian because I had a supernatural experience with God. I mean, there are different people that can say, oh, I research Christianity and it makes sense for me. I tell you, if you ask me, I tell you, I had an experience with God and Christianity was the last religion that I would have looked into. Um, and then when I kind of found out that uh, Christianity and the Bible was true, I repented of my sins and I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I received the Holy Spirit because the whole idea in Christianity is that because of what happened with Adam and Eve, we inherited a fallen nature and we are sinners. I mean, do you, you know, you, going back to your belief system, you talk about doing no harm to anyone, which is a wonderful concept. But what do you think about your sins? Um, you know, have you... So we believe in forgiveness as well. So there's yeah. no sin. There's, uh, there's just acceptance of what you do. Mm -hmm. So instead of, uh, instead of, you know, uh, claiming that you, you've done wrong, what we do is we accept that we made a mistake, we mm -hmm. forgive ourselves and we move on to not not making the same mistake again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I guess to some extent that works, but do you ever confess your sins to other people? No, that's not required. Uh -huh. But yeah, I do know Christianity, when you confess, then you are then you're supposedly free of your sins? Yeah, yeah, if, um, if you are in Christ, yes. I mean, the point is, um, is that, for example, um, you know, I, let's say I go to that shop and I steal, okay. right? And obviously, you recognize that morally that's wrong, yeah. right? Um, now, if I, um, you know, in Islam, for example, as, you know, if you compare it, they say, oh, just confess your sin to Allah, and he's a different God, by the way, and it's all okay, but in Christianity, the Bible says, confess your sins to one another so that you, and pray for one another so that you may be healed. So if I steal something, you know, and that's wrong, I should really kind of tell my a brother or sister and pray about it and ask for forgiveness. Obviously, forgiveness comes from God, 
but I should really kind of confess my sin because the problem is that if we don't confess our sins, we may repeatedly do it again. Or, you know, let's say if, um, you know, um, a, um, a, f a family man, you know, he may have issues with gambling or he may have issues with adultery. Let's say he doesn't tell anyone and he doesn't ask for help. He may keep doing that behind his family's back. Um, so the whole point is that we, we seek help. But I guess um, what I want to tell you is that, um, you know, we're all sinners and we all fall short of God's glory. And any, um, you know, according to the Bible, any one sin, even if you, you know, did everything right in your life, one sin will lead you to hell. And hell is like eternal damnation. And only God can forgive your sins. And we're, um, we get forgiveness through... Uh, Jesus Christ. Have you heard about Jesus Christ? Yes, what do you What do you know about Jesus Christ? His story, the basic. Uh, he went over the city to help people, and uh, there was some. I don't know the exact exact story, but uh -huh. he was condemned and he was put to nails, and uh, yeah, the basic one. Yeah. So Jesus Christ, um, you know, was uh, prophesized in the Old Testament, and he comes from Israel, so. Israel were God's chosen people and people may think oh why Israel I mean the thing is God had to choose a group of people from which the Savior would come from um, so Jesus is the son of God and he is God which sounds confusing but it's because God is triune is the Father Son and Holy Spirit so Jesus uh, basically is God becomes man into the flesh and because the price of sin is death you know um, Jesus um, he, he basically um, he was crucified because he claimed to be God, but on the cross he took on all the sins of the world and then he died and resurrected. And the gospel basically, the gospel message, which I'm going to give to you is in this coin you can have. The gospel message is that whoever believes in him shall not perish in everlasting life. And the Bible says that by his stripes we are healed, by, um, you know, the, the blood of Jesus basically forgives us and renews our uh, spirit and without Jesus Christ all human beings are doomed to hell what do you think about this because I it's can understand it's a little extreme for me how yeah I can understand so, how you know you know uh, everything is a sin and all of us are sinners are is not exactly my point of view yeah okay. uh, for for example I believe that everybody can make mistakes everybody has the right to make mistakes but yeah. Everybody also has the chance to make it right in their lives. Mm -hmm. So all of and, and and again, you know, the part wherein uh, there's a God, I don't believe in it. So it's okay, you know. I respect that you believe in it. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, yeah. I I understand. I mean, I'm gonna leave you with a booklet to maybe read when you have time. Um, but it's worth looking into because it is true, you know, we, we all make mistakes, absolutely, because none of us are perfect, um, you know, we, we're human beings after we're, um, but I think, um, you know, the problem is that without God, our good works are filthy rags. And the reality is this, is that, you know, you may do good works because you want people to like you, because you feel like it will make you a good person, um, because, you know, it sounds controversial, but... Um, the Bible says that our, our hearts are wicked and I know it sounds extreme that's why I don't say your heart I don't want to target you I yeah, say yeah, myself I you know before God I'm still a sinner today but before I knew God I was in darkness I, I was um, depressed I was never happy I was unfulfilled and um, and also anything good that I did was for selfish reasons and basically um, when I accepted Jesus as my Savior, I got forgiveness for my sins and I received the Holy Spirit. And now I can still struggle sometimes, but I received the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which is um, joy, peace, um, um, endurance, patience, um, and plus others. And also, um, you know, I'm filled um, with truth and love. And I know that when I die, I'm going to go to heaven to be with God because my, I'm, you know, we're made in the image of God. Um, but without Christ, we will go to hell. I mean, have you ever thought about the afterlife? What, where do you think? I don't think there's an afterlife. You don't think there is an afterlife? I mean, we are made in the image of God and our souls will live for eternity. And, um, you know, basically, according to the Bible, if you die without Christ, you will go to hell. 
and in fact it tells you that most people will but you know you're hearing the message today my I'm not expecting you to kind of yeah, yeah, um, to make a, um, a decision now but I would invite you to think about it because honestly I wasn't born a Christian and Christianity w would have been the last thing I looked into and probably your belief is what I kind of believed in and then God revealed the truth to me and he changed me and now I know that I you know I, I, I'm a new creation you know you can become a new creation and you can be fulfilled and you can go to heaven this is why now on a day off I come here to do this to share the gospel with people do you have any other questions or thoughts on no, this no, that's all okay right. thank you I respect your uh, you know I respect what you're doing thank you I, I hope you think it over I mean if you're in London or, or actually you say you live in Warwick I I would recommend you maybe talk to some Christians about this if you have any questions. Yes, I'm and if you, and especially if you're feeling down, um, you know, uh, that's a even a better time to reach out because God's strength is found in our weakness. So it, when you, if you ever feel like really down and depressed, you know, reach out to a Christian because God can heal you and God can fulfill you in a way that your career, a husband, or anything like I, I can promise you you could be given the whole world and you will not be fulfilled but God can fulfill you and make you feel like complete okay. um, so I'll leave that with you so maybe one day you will think about what I yes, said yes definitely. yeah okay right. God bless you and happy new thank year you. yeah lovely to speak to you thank and thank you, you for sharing I mean, with, um, yeah, we spoke to this uh, young lady who believed in uh, Janahism, which is um, an Eastern religion similar to Buddhism. And um, yeah, it was interesting talking to her because, um, you know, the basis of this religion is about causing no harm to other um, uh, basically living things. Um, but when I kind of pointed out to her that it sounds like worshipping the creation, rather than the creator, which she doesn't believe in, she admitted that, yeah, it is a bit like that. And, you know, as Christians, you know, we don't want to harm um, people and all things. I mean, there are Christians who are vegetarians, and I think before the fall, we were not eating animals. But the point is that we need to worship the creator, not the creation. And of course, we want to be loving. Um, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, being loving to animals, and if you're not, you know, that's not a good thing. However, you know, we need to really make our first most commitment to God before our friends, before animals, before the world. Our allegiance needs to go to the Creator who gives us lives and also who gives us a new life. And it's the only way to get saved is through Jesus Christ. Only He can forgive us of our sins and our good works are filthy rags without God. Um, anyway, I leave this, um, I'm going to finish the message now. We're in Trafalgar Square, um, we had a lovely day and um, Happy New Year and if you don't know Jesus Christ um, and you're watching this, I recommend that you go to a church or you talk to a Christian. If you have any questions, um, you know, find out, you know, um, take care, God bless.